Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and today we're coming at you with a sweet little all-aluminum toy hauler from our friends at ATC. This is the Game Changer 2823 model. It's really cool because it only weighs about 5,400 pounds dry, but it has a massive GVWR of 13,200 pounds, which leaves us almost 7,800 pounds of cargo space. Super cool for a 28 foot living section trailer that you see behind me. Let's just jump into it and check out all the details. Now outside, when I said this was all aluminum, I mean it. ATC has made it a point to make as much of this trailer out of aluminum as possible. That means not only is our chassis aluminum, the floors, the exterior walls, the ceilings, the framework is all aluminum. Even the cabinets inside are custom made in-house by ATC aluminum. The doors are the same. It's very cool. It's a great way to keep that weight down while keeping that strength up. In addition to aluminum frame up, they're using Asdell sidewalls. I really like that on the interior. It's a great replacement for Luan. It's a combination of polypropylene and fiberglass. It's weather resistant and temperature resistant. Basically what I'm saying is this trailer is built to last. Now we're inside and this happens to be a front bathroom model. I wanna start there because it is kind of a cool bathroom for this style of toy hauler. It's large, it takes up most of the front side of the trailer. Now this bathroom is actually pretty awesome for a toy hauler of this size. As I mentioned before, we have custom cabinetry everywhere from ATC and there's a load of storage in here. We have a huge, almost pantry size storage cabinet from the floor to the ceiling. And that is accompanied by even more storage, just left and right of it. We can open up these cabinets and see nice deep spaces for keeping all sorts of odds and ends. This bathroom's really well thought out from simple things like solid surface countertops, a big stainless steel bowl. Our faucet is set off to the side, which is actually very nice. It gives us more room to maneuver. They've put in a medicine cabinet. That's something ATC has started doing more recently. There's even storage well up above the sink. And they've thought about smart little things like toilet paper holders, towel holders, even holders for robes and hand towels. It's really just a well thought out interior. I also love the shower. Me at six foot three can stand up in there and move around. And thanks to the extendable shower curtain, it gives me even more room. All in all, this is an awesome bathroom for a travel trailer of its size. Let's go check out the kitchen. The kitchen here is reasonable in my opinion. It's not huge, but this is a travel trailer toy hauler. Let's be honest, it is mostly designed with guys in mind. I mean, a lot of ladies are going to look at this and because I've heard it already on the lot and say, oh my gosh, this looks, you know, like a man cave. It's not very friendly and loving and, and filled with those comfortable things that we see in other trailers. Well, that's because, again, this thing is a true toy hauler that's built to last. We see that in the kitchen as well. I'm just gonna reiterate it here. Things that are water resistant, weather resistant, temperature resistant, the aluminum cabinetry, the solid surface counters. 
We're not gonna find a scrap of wood in this trailer anywhere, which is awesome. They've given us a big stainless steel single basin sink with sink covers and an offset faucet. Now a lot of people see this faucet and they think that's a little weird. I don't because it's also right next to our double burner stove, which means filling a pot is really easy to do. So you need to top off that boiling water for whatever reason, you can do that. Right beneath that double burner stove, we have a microwave, and again, just cabinetry everywhere. Loads of these aluminum drawers on heavy duty drawer glides. Everything's on latches, so it closes and stays closed. And they've thought about small details. Even at the corners that are exposed on our cabinetry, they've gone in and they put in little rubber guards to keep us from bumping our heads into it, because that is a very hard corner. All of this is across from our refrigerator. This is a Norcold 12 volt refrigerator. I love these things because it got rid of the cooling fins and the traditional gas electric, which gave us a lot more volume inside. It does have its own freezer compartment up top, which is nice for keeping frozen th pizzas and things. And then up high, we've got more storage. Down low, again, more storage. This countertop extends into our garage thanks to this counter extension here. This flips away and that just gives us more usable garage space, which leads us into our living area as we've got it set up now. Now we have this whole area set up as if we were camping or living out of it right now. We've got the toys out, we're set up in our destination, everything's pulled down off of the walls to take it out of that garage mode, if you will. I'm standing in what is our living space, basically. We've got a TV mounted up on the wall. That's directly across from our dinette. The dinette has this awesome, large, solid surface table. That's great for playing board games on. And also, it's just it's water resistant, it's tough, it's easy to clean. That table can fold up and out of the way, and that allows us to create a bed in this location by folding the backs of the dinette down. So that gives us an additional space to sleep another two people. There's cabinets up above. Again, more of those custom cabinetry with that bump stop on the end. Just more storage for this unit. We have giant windows on the left and the right that allow us to get a cross breeze of air through here on nice days. But if it's super hot outside, this one in particular is equipped with two air conditioners. It's 50 amp service. We can really cool this thing down. In addition to that, our windows have these nice rolling blackout shades that are super easy to use. And they're gonna block out all of that light and give you lots of privacy. To my left, we've got this wonderful little sofa that flips over and creates yet another bed. That's getting us up to sleeping five plus people, depending on how big you are or how close you wanna to be together, including the bed that's back here. Now this is on the Happy Jack bed lift system. It's designed to go all the way up to the ceiling. Again, just opening up that garage to allow us to pull toys in and out. As it stands right now, we've got it on the upper jacks of the Happy Jack bed. That's why it has the ladder climbing up into it. If you wanted to, you could attach it to the lower jacks of this Happy Jack system and lower it down nice and low where it's easier to get in and out of. The downside to that is that in the full up position, it wouldn't quite go to the ceiling, which if you had a tall toy that you were pulling in, that might be detrimental. So it's all up to you and how you outfit it. This bed is controlled up front on our main panel that's by the entry door. Let's check that out because it has a lot of cool other features on it. In addition to running the Happy Jack bed lift up and down, this panel has all kinds of great power controls for the rest of the RV. It's conveniently located right next to the door as soon as we come inside. And you'll see that right here in the top left, we've got our main power shutoff. That shuts off the battery from the coach in its entirety. You'll also notice that we are prepped to have a generator on board. There's a space for that up front. 
We'll take a look at it when we get outside. Up top, way up here, we have our inverter monitor. This has a Progressive Dynamics PD1600 inverter that's tied into a solar panel that's on the roof. And that's going to keep your main 12 volt system topped off, ready to go on those sunny days. So if you're boondocking, you have full use of all of your lights and other 12 volt systems. Below it, notice that we have a gas gauge. Another one of those things that we'll check out outside, but this does have a pump station on board for your toys. All your tank checks are there. Actionable pumps and water heater buttons are right there as well. And of course, all of our lights. Now, something I didn't mention about our lights earlier is that our main interior lights are dimmable. Kind of a neat feature for the LED systems that are on board this coach. So let's let that happy jack bed lift back up and we'll put all the other stuff up and check out this thing in garage mode. And there it is. We've got all our furniture up against the walls. We've got the happy jack bed ceiling up against the ceiling. Reminder, I'm six foot three. I can walk under this thing with ease, lots of space above me. And we've got our garage ready to have a toy pull in. Around me, I've got nine tie down points, big D rings that are directly tied into the frame. There's even a removable carpet that's up front that has an additional two tie down points up there. In essence, we could have a motorcycle pulled all the way up into our kitchen. This is really cool. I could think of a lot of configurations of different things that you could pull in here and bring with you on a trip. So all in all, this is a pretty slick space. I like it a lot. What I didn't mention before because we couldn't get to it, the bed was down, is that we have this in patio mode right now. Let's jump out there and check out that back porch. I love these tent walls. They're super great for separating off the living area from this awesome back porch on what would be our ramp in another setup. But what's cool about these is that they have the plastic on the back side of the bug mesh that can drop down and it can allow us to have air flow in and out of the camper on those nice days. In milder weather, it can be zipped up and this can act as a bit of a thermal barrier between the back porch and the interior, just retaining some of that hot or cold air, depending on what the weather is outside. Now, obviously in extreme weather, you'd wanna close all this up lift that ramp door and close it up to really just insulate the camper a lot better. Now, also back here, we have some really great load lights. That's just gonna illuminate everything on the back porch. And I wanna point out that this is prepped for a wireless backup camera. So there's the Voyager y -Sight technology prep this up there. That's an easy aftermarket install. All the wiring for it's already set up. Now. Another thing to note on this back porch is that we have this awesome custom railing that surrounds it. It even has this gate that swings in and out. There's cup holders on either side. That's really cool. It just really lends to the party atmosphere of this porch. Plus it's super tough. So dogs aren't gonna be able to scratch through a screen. They're never gonna be able to chew through this metal bar. I think that's really just kind of an awesome feature. The porch itself is made from the same extruded aluminum that the interior floor is made out of. So it can be exposed to the elements without any worry of it falling apart or having any sort of rot or sway or sag to it. That leads us to the very back here where we have this awesome staircase this is attached directly to the back of the porch and we can come down and it makes contact with the ground. We've got a big hand railing. It's very adjustable for all sorts of varying terrain. It's another great entrance into the RV. Let's pop around to the door side and check out some of the features there. Here on the door side, we do have a few things that are worth noting. We have running on Goodyear tires here. Those are set up on torsion axles up underneath. It's gonna give us a nice smooth ride. Everybody loves a name brand tire. I think that's just one thing that they're doing that is you know, worthy of applause. We have a gigantic 
electric awning. This thing runs almost the full length of the RV. It runs out at a touch of a button. It has an LED strip to light up this entire area whenever you're just kind of chilling of the evening. We do have some speakers out here as well, just to play your music. And here at the entry, we have a couple of things going on. This already has a TV mount out here on the sidewall. We have a 12 volt plug cable out and some typical 110 receptacles down here as well. Our main entry door, again, that custom aluminum door that's made by ATC. It's very nice, very heavy, very thick, very insulated. It just feels good when you open and close it. Big grab handle, and we have some solid steps here. This is more and more common in the industry. It seems like we're going away from the diving board. I like this a lot. They're easy to use. They feel great getting in and out of the camper. Now, some of you may have noticed when we were in the bathroom that on the back side of the toilet, there was no cabinet. Well, that's because they use that space for exterior storage. This is like a giant outside closet. I can see putting camp chairs and other large items in there just for storing and having quick access to on your patio side. Now, this is pretty special. Down low, we have our gas pump. So we have a fueling station on the other side where we can fill up a main tank reservoir on here and we can refill our toys on the go. That means if you're out at say, you know, an ATV park and you wanna get back out and ride some more, you've run out of gas in the old ATV, you just pull up beside your camper, fuel up and you're off and running again. That leads us all the way up to the very front of the RV. So one of the cool things about the front of this ATC is that we get a glimpse of that custom aluminum framework in the A-frame as it comes out to the coupler. Now behind our dual propane tanks and the smart jack, I'll come back to that, there's a spot that's recessed and has some little wires coiled out. That is where a generator would go. We noticed we had generator prep on the inside panel. The generator would be mounted right down into that box and wired up and you'd be good to go to power the whole unit by pushing a button. We do have the dual propane tanks as I mentioned earlier. The smart jack is very cool because it remembers your hitch height if you program it to do so. So let's say you get into a campsite, you wanna remember how high it was over the ball so that you can easily back up to it. You set it, you drop your camper down to level or wherever it needs to be, and then when you back up, you hit the buttons again and it raises to exactly the right height for the truck. Other cool things that are going on here that's a little bit different, we have a Demco coupler down low. It's a really neat coupler. It feels solid as you interact with it. I will note though that we found that it requires a larger than average safety pin to run through it. So that's just something to consider. Now, other things going on back here that I think ATC has done really well is they've given us access to a water port outside. And it's a typical house spigot almost. You crank that joker on, you can hook a hose to it. It's very solid. That's gonna be awesome for washing off those bikes or ATVs or whatever it is that you're hauling right before it goes back into the vehicle. And that's gonna be easy to do because this has a 100 gallon freshwater tank on board. We also have storage in here in the very front pass through. It's accessible from two big latches and even a side latch on this, on this side. You can see we can reach all the way through it. Our batteries are in there and there's room to store things like the ladder for the bed and a handful of other small items, odds and ends. I'd personally probably just stash some tools in there because it can be locked away. Let's jump on over to the off door side. Above that pass-through storage door that we were just looking at, we've got black tank flush. You hook a hose to that, turn it on, it's gonna rinse out that black tank after dumping it, just helping clean things up a little bit more. And then we have a lockable compartment that has our water in. Now we can easily switch between tank fill and city fill with this little switch that they've provided us. There is a winterized sanitized port here and a water pump switch right up above it. Now that's actually really handy because if you remember, we had the faucet down low on the front side. So that means if we're operating off the tank, we can flip on our water pump, hose off whatever we need to and flip it off without having to go inside the RV. 
I really like where they put the hot water here. This is really smart from an engineering perspective because if you remember inside, our shower is right here and our sink is right here. That means that there's only about a three or four foot line from the water heater to either of those faucets. Main, it, that just gives you instant hot water and it's really just gonna conserve it as well. Pushing back down below me, I've got our power in. This is our shoreline. This is 50 amp service because remember we have two ACs up top. We have our cable in. So if a park that you're at provides cable, you can run a coax in. Down below, we have our black and our gray tank pulls for draining our tanks and our sewer out is right there. Pushing back on the underside, we have our primary water tank, the fresh tank, and you can see that it has its own dedicated drain. And this gas cap with the gasoline only sticker above it that's right here between the wheel wells is for filling the gas tank that fills or pushes gas to that pump that we saw on the other side. So whenever you refuel your toys, that's drawing off this tank here. All the way at the back, you can see that we have a sewer hose carrier and down low, we've got a spare tire. All in all, I think that these are really smart things that ATC has incorporated into the exterior. Let's get into some final thoughts. I personally really like the ATC line of travel trailer toy haulers. They're super tough. They're all aluminum build means there's nothing to rot, nothing to rust. It's gonna be a product that's with you for a very, very, very long time. I think that it's Spartan nature is actually really cool. If you think about it, it's one of the few travel trailers that you can stand in the back of with a hose and rinse it out at the end of the day. I love the idea of going from camping one weekend to hauling a friend's furniture around and helping them move the next. It's just so utilitarian that it can be multi-purpose for so many things. It's even a great tailgater. I'm loving hanging out on this back patio. I think this is a super, super awesome little RV. This one in particular is worth checking out. Come on down to Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. See it for yourself. We try to keep a handful of ATCs in stock at all times. If you can't do that, jump on our website, southernrv.com. Feel free to send our sales team any questions if you've got them. And until next time, guys, happy camping.